Well, students in Osceola County have finally moved into the new Michigan Avenue Elementary School. That's one of the first buildings constructed since voters approved a sales tax hike to upgrade old schools. Channel News' Michael Lepardi found out the project was a top priority for the district. Osceola County's Michigan Avenue Elementary School has a new building and a new atmosphere. Kids seem happier. They're excited to have new classrooms and have a classroom upstairs. Jessica Locarini says her son is among the students who moved into the new campus just last month. It was an old rundown school. It needs some updates and that's what they got with this new one. The $24 million facility replaces that old school, which dates back to the 1970s. The renovation is one of the first major projects since voters approved a half cent sales tax in 2016 to upgrade aging schools. We spoke with the superintendent about the need earlier this year. We had $100 million in deferred maintenance projects, as well as multiple facilities that are 35, 40, 45 years old. Today we learned the tax has generated more than $62 million so far, of which 48 million has been spent. The district says it's replacing carpet, air conditioners, fire alarms, roofs, and completely rebuilding other schools based on their age and condition. This whole area needs new updating with the high school being updated. That was our school as well. The new elementary school has space for more than 900 students and will share a dining facility with the middle school next door. But the work here isn't entirely done yet. Crews are still working to demolish the old building. Michael Lopardi, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Denjon Middle School, St. Cloud Middle School, and Gateway High School are next on the list for renovation.